Okay, um, today I'm going to be doing, so I'm going to do a, uh, walkthrough of the sink guts, um, so yeah, let's just get started, um, we're just going to go to new game, and then it's going to ask us to choose our character, it doesn't really matter, um, it just has visual differences, otherwise it doesn't change any puzzles or anything, I'm just going to skip through the, uh, um, opening cutscene here you can go through it if you would like but um doesn't really bring anything um to the uh puzzles or anything of that sort so and it's just gonna have us uh wait for this cutscene to finish and okay so um we're just going to click on the box here, and we'll see that we have three arrows that pop up. And each of these arrows do something a little bit different. Um, so, the down arrow has us zoom out. Side arrows has us look at different sides of the box. Um, like so. And we can't do it in this room, but in other levels, uh, if you're not zoomed into a box, side arrows will allow you to look at different walls. So what we're going to do is we're going to zoom into the box, and we're going to come to this screen right here. And we can see that we can rotate these uh, two circles. When you line them up, um, and the way we, the orientation is shown right here with this little triangle right there. Um, so we're just gonna orient it so that way it faces up like that. And then we're gonna grab our token. So we're gonna take our token over here. I'm gonna put it in the first slot which is going to open up this little box. And we're going to grab our first lens, the green lens, and we're going to take that, and then we're just going to put it into this, to the leftmost uh, slot. And then this switch will be activated. So let's just click that, and a portal has been activated. I'll we'll just click on that to take us to the first level. Okay, it's going to go through a bit of a cutscene. Okay, so let's look around a bit. We have that there. We have novice, a box, and some knobs. So if we go to novice, okay, so she wants a cup. Um, so what we'll do is if we look over here, we have our token, which we need to get, that's in bars. Um, we have a water level dial, and right now that's at zero. We have a temperature, not dial, uh, we like a thermometer, right, with the temperature, that's at zero. We have this thing here. Um, so what we're gonna do, is if we come over here, we have these two knobs, and these, so we have a hot water knob and a cold water knob, and these will affect both the temperature and the water level. So right now, each are set to a position of one, which means if we come over here, the water level will be at two because they're both outputting one. So a simple addition, one plus one equals two. So we have water level of two. And the temperature is also two. And this is because um, they are both um, inputting the same amount of water. If we were to have only hot water, our temperature would go up to four. And we can kind of mix and match with that. If it's only cold water, it'll be at zero. If they're equal, it'll be at two. And then we can kind of combine it. So right, right now it should be at a temperature of three because we have two hot and one cold, right? So if we come over here, um, we can see that the cup is gonna be a water level of four and a temperature of two. So, we can simply do that by putting these both at their uh, 2 position, which will give us water level 4 and temperature of 2. And then we have a cup. And now, we're going to take our cup over to Novice. Just click a couple of times, and then we have this card. 
So now we have water level of 2 and a temperature of 4. Um, I just want to call attention to this real quick. If I come over here, this tells us water level of 3 and temperature of 2. And that is not possible, uh, at least for now. Um, because right now, if we try to put these, right now, uh, if the only way that we can get a water level of 3 is for one of these to be... Um, outputting more than the other which means that we can't get a temperature of two so we can't worry about that yet so we'll just go back here to remind us what that is so two and four uh, that's pretty easy to get um, all we need to do is we can turn off the cold water and turn the hot water all the way on um, which will give us a water level of two and a temperature of four and right over here we have opened up a this with another card so water level of 1 and a temperature of 0. Um, to do that, we're just going to turn hot water off and turn the cold water on to 1. And this will open up a new knob for us, and this is the lukewarm knob. And the lukewarm knob is um, will affect the water level, but will not affect the temperature. So this is how we get the uh, water level of 2 and temperature of 3. So with these two turned on, we have a water level of 2 and a temperature of 2. And to get that extra one water level without affecting the temperature, we're just going to turn this on to one, which will open up our bars with the token. And that'll bring us back over here. And um, we're just going to repeat the steps as we did this first time. Put that into the next slot. Grab the blue lens. Put that into the lens slot. And then we will flip the switch. And that'll conjure up the blue portal, which we can now enter. And that'll take us to the second level. Okay. So here we have these uh, weird like squares with the slots we have a box we have this like safe thing here and we have uh spatus and then we have a uh tap some shields and a screwdriver so let's pick up the screwdriver and if we come over to spatus um on her she wants a shield so we'll need to get that uh, let's see here. We can't go use those yet, so let's take our screwdriver. Now let's come to this side of the box, and we're just going to use that just on the little seal and get a small shield. And now while we're at the box, um, we have these things here, and those little uh, green things there affect the position of these. So this one needs to go all the way down. That one needs to go in the middle. And then this middle one needs to go to the top, just like this. Once those are in those positions, we can open this up. And we have a key. And now, so our first thought is to take our shield to the novice, but that doesn't work. Um, so what we'll do is over here, um, we have this shield here, and this is a bit different. Um, that's because we need to take our small shield and just put it into the middle, which will give us our full-size shield. Let's give that to Spoutus, and we can get a sword. Okay, so now we're going to take our sword right over here. And if we put it into any of these slots, we will get a thing opened up to us. So that middle one is a, has some dials for us, uh, for a combination lock. Right here, we have some symbols. And some more symbols just right here. Um, this is a math puzzle. Um, so you just figure out the values of each of the symbols through the equation shown. Um, you can do that. Um, let's see. So these are just going to be the combination. So the triangle will end up being 5. The swirly will end up being 3. The uh, square swirly thing will, end up, will be a 1. And then the star will be an 8. Set it to each of those positions. We'll get our sword back, and that'll open this up 
and we'll have a brush. Now what we're gonna do, is we're gonna come back over here, we'll input our key right here, and we will put our sword in the slot, and we get a paint thing, and we'll just use the brush on the paint, and now we have a brush with red paint. And we're gonna take that over to the tap, and we are just going to um, put that into the water. And now we have our next token. Um, so let us just repeat those steps just as before. Grab that. And this time we have a red lens and a magnifying glass. Um, we can just leave... Don't need to worry about the magnifying glass for a little bit, so that's there. Um, and we uh, will use that later. Let's go into the red portal to the third level. Okay. So now, as soon as this leaves, we have Drainus right here. We have a box, we have a cage, and we have a safe. So, on these, let's see, if we zoom into the box, we see we have a bird in a cage and two buttons next to it. We have a rabbit in a cage and these two buttons next to it. And then we have our character. In this case, it's Robin, because that's the one I chose. If you chose Gwendolyn, it'll be Gwendolyn. Um, and then we have some slots there, and then we have uh, a slot here. So what we're going to do is we see we have these arrows right up here on this wall. Um, so we need to remember that pattern. So up, up, down, up, down, down, up. And then we're going to put that into these buttons. So up, up, down, up, down, down, up. And we got our bird. And then our next one's arrows are going to be right here. So that's going to be right, left, right, right, left, right. Um, and we're going to take that and we're going to input that in right here. So right, left, right, right, left, right. And we're going to there, bunny. And we're going to take the bird first and we're going to put that into the cage. And then we're going to lower the cage into the fire. And then we'll take the cage back out. And we have a dark bird. And we're going to take that over to Drainus. And he'll eat it. And then we get a skull. And then we're going to just repeat that this time with the rabbit. Okay, let's grab our rabbit and feed that to Drainus. And we have a, another skull. So let's take our skulls just over to the box at these slots right here. And boom, now I can grab ourself and we'll repeat the steps. Put us into the cage. And grab us from out of there. Okay. Then we will feed ourselves to the... To drain us. And then we will grab, put our skull just in there. Now this is where the uh, magnifying glass comes in. Since you'll notice that there's this little scratch thingy on there. We're going to take our magnifying glass, use it on the skull, and we can see we get a number. So the human skull is 6, the bird skull is 2, and the rabbit skull is going to be 9. We're going to take those and we're going to put those into here. We're safe. So 6, 1, 2, and... Nine. 
And that'll open up that, which gives us our token. The last token. Sort of. Um, so now we're going to take our token, and we're going to put it into the slot. And we'll get our lens, and put that into the lens slot. Just as always. And boom. So here we go. So now we are going to be in the Temple of Sinkus. Okay, so we can grab the staff. We have this thing right here. It doesn't really matter, just aesthetic. Um, let's see, we have sun right there. We have Sinkus as a statue. So first things first, let's put the staff right into there. Um, and we can see right over here, we have two buttons, a brown button and an orange button. And those will affect those uh, numbers. And so what we're going to do is we're going to come into here, and we're going to count the uh, spiky things that are on his head um, with the colors. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine brown spikies. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight orange spikies. So we're going to input those values just into here. So we have... Eight orange and nine brown. Which will give us our token, which we're going to just put into here. And that will turn this on. Okay. So this will trigger the ending cutscene for the main game. So let's just go through that real quick. Okay, so we get turned into Garbulator. Let's go through the cutscene. And that is the end of the main four levels of the game. So let us go. I should probably resize that button. Um. So now we can go on to the aftermath level, which is right here. Um, so we can do a new game. I'm just going to warn us that uh, this takes place after the main game, and you should play this before. You should play through the main game before playing through this level. Also, um, starting a new game in aftermath will delete any other saves. Um, and we'll just cl click continue. Let's see, so we have. This cutscene we're going to have to wait through. Um, basically, Sinkus is just telling us that uh, we have two... Uh, that there are two other council members in the Rich Jerks uh, Society thing. And we need to kill them. Um, to free the land of the Sink Valley from their reign. Um, yeah, so we got the level started up now, um, and I just want to mention that, um, if you were to exit out and you want to resume the aftermath level, you just resume from the main screen, um, uh, rather than going back into aftermath, um, Uh, 
Um, so let's see here. So first things first, uh, if we look here, association rich tricks meeting, current progress, uh, do not disturb. So we can't go through the door right now. Um, also, we do start off with our uh, scythe. Can't do anything with it right now, though. So we'll just leave that there. If we come to the guard. He will tell us that we can get to the door if we can get three sixes in a row with some dice. Um, so let's look over here on this table. And we have a cup and some dice. So if we roll the dice, we can do as many times as we want. And um, we will never get three sixes in a row. Um, the first will always be six. Uh, there's like a one in four chance or something like that. The second being a six. And then the third one will never be a six. So we're just going to leave those be for now. We're going to need to find something to help us out with that. Um, so if we come over here, we have Pipus. Click on her. She'll tell us that she wants some milk. So we'll need to get that. We also have some electrical boxes. And there's another door to another room. Um, so let's go through here. We have a safe thing right there. Um, we have a thing here with some items, including a pair of dice, which is what we're going to want to find. We're going to want to get that. Then we also have a door to the bathroom. If we zoom in on here, um, we can open up this cabinet, and we have a screwdriver, and we have some soap. Okay, then over here, we have some milk. So let's go back into the main room. Also, I forgot to go here. Um, we have a little crack thing in the wall. Click that so many times, um, it will open this up with some code stuff that we don't know to do with, what to do with yet. So we're just going to leave that be for now. And then let's take this um, over to Sinkus or Pipus. And then Pipus is going to do some magic. I think my thing is sort of broken, because that should not look like that. Yep, so she's just going to conjure up some pipes over to one of these safes that we will be able to use later on. Um, and then we got water. Okay. So next, let's go into the this first electrical box, and we're just going to use the screw, uh, or the screwdriver, on all four screws to open it up. You can see here, we've got get the electricity from here down to here. Pretty simple. You just rotate uh, these things. Oh, whoopsie, skipped one. Just like that. So the electricity is going to both sides, and we will see that this thing will open up. Uh, and we will be able to go to that. And then, bef before we do, let's just uh, open up this next electrical box. Okay. So, next, we are going to just uh, do a similar thing. Get the electricity from here to here. And um, we can see that there's multiple routes it can take, but there's only one true route. We're going to put this here. And then it'll go through there. And then go down through there. And that'll open up this safe. Which is where the water was going. So let's look at this one first. Um, we can rotate the pipes. And we're just going to rotate them so it can get over here. So just do that. And now we have some buttons. And we don't know the order to press those yet. So we're just going to leave that be. And let's come over here. So we can put our soap into here. And if we do that, it'll drop the soap down there. Um, and nothing really happened that time. Um, that's because we didn't uh, do anything with these little platforms that we can turn. So the only ones we can turn are the ones with these little circles. The, these ones are static. Um, so let's, see, let's just hurry, because we used up our soap. We're just going to need to hurry and grab another one. And you can do that infinitely, so if you mess up, um, you can just redo it. And we're going to want to get it so the soap will get down here. So we're just going to rotate these like this. And we're going to watch the soap just slide down. 
And then this comes up. So we're gonna push this button right here, which will light, give us some lights in a sequence. So let's just do that again. Red, blue, orange, green, yellow, purple. Red, blue, orange, green, yellow, purple. So we're gonna to wanna to remember that. And right over here, we have colors. So red, orange, blue. Wait. <laughs> I think I might have forgotten the sequence. This is a good spot to use the paper. Red, blue, orange, green, yellow, purple. Red, blue, orange, green, yellow, purple purple red blue orange green yellow purple okay so we have red blue orange green yellow purple so that's going to be d f c e a b and if we come over here to this we're going to just push these buttons in that order so d f c e a b and that'll open this up which will give us our key and we're gonna use the key just on this door. I can grab all these, although we don't, the only one we really need is just the dice. Um, so let's take our dice over to the table and we're just gonna put those there. And then if we use this, so they're loaded dice, right? So we will put them there and we get all sixes. Perfect. So we can now enter the council room and we have Pipus here with her scythes or her sickles and she'll cut off the that head and we can with our scythe we can kill that guy and that is the end um yeah so that is the end of the sink gods walkthrough um hopefully that helped and yeah